right. So this is the Swan Car Window Sunshade Deluxe Four Piece Travel Kit. That's what's supposed to be in this box. We're gonna open this up. There's a little story behind this. I already received one of these, and it was missing um, a couple parts. Apparently, that's it was just a fluke. That's not supposed to happen. They do several things to check to make sure everything's in the box. Um, I received one that just was missing some parts and stuff. So we're gonna open this one up, and hopefully everything's here, and we're gonna try this out. So come on now. Now open the boxes. We get open boxes today. Aren't you excited and happy we get to open boxes? We're opening boxes, boxes. What's inside this box? We don't know until it's open. What's inside the box? Knife blade, tell us what's inside the box. Inside the box. Inside the box. Please, please tell us what's in the box. What's in the box today? What's in the box today? Packing, packing plastic. This is what I was waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. All these years has been packing plastic. That's what I want. All right. So, um, throw that over here. Okay. So we got, all right. This one has got more pieces than the other one <laughs> and it's bigger. Okay. So we've got, we've got, see when I get done here, I'm going to have more pieces than come in the kit because I got the other one that didn't come with the bright pieces. See, so this is gonna be cool. All right, so let's bust it open. And I'm gonna be installing this in my car today, so you guys can see it, like I usually do with my other products. And I don't know what this is, if it's a bonus thing or what. We're gonna find out. I think it's a thing that sticks to your dash, so that you can st set stuff on it and it doesn't slide around. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, we've got instructions. This actually came with instructions. Okay, good. So now we have everything in the box this time. All good stuff. Okay, so let's fold the knife up so we don't cut something. And let's go ahead, just like it is right now, and take a picture for the YouTubers and the Amazoners and all those wonderful people out there that watch my videos and like, comment, share, and subscribe like good little children do, you know. And so we're going to take, come on now, camera, there we go. We're going to take a picture, just like this. It's awesome. And that's about it for that. Okay, so um, I don't want to open this because I don't know what it is. And it's sticky, so I'm going to leave it alone. This says we got front window screen shade, rear screen, two side windows. I'm not necessarily seeing any instructions yet. It's not going to work on a luxury sedan or a minivan. It will work on a small SUV, large SUV, pickup truck, a hatchback or sedan, uh, front window shield, rear window shade. It shows dimensions. Um, this is like the side window needs to be maximum 45 inches, minimum 25, uh, on the top of the window. And then the height needs to be like 18 inches max, eight inches minimum fits great without any major creases. Okay, great. So I guess these from the common sense, cause I don't really see, it says questions. You they have a website. You can like find information, activate a guarantee. Um, so we've got. These things here, which I assume are for the sides of side windows, because it appears that what you do with these in the picture is that you put these in your window and roll it up. Wait a minute, what the? Why is there a bag here? So I guess this slides over part of the window? I don't know. I don't understand. It's an elastic bag. Oh no! My head, I'm trapped. Okay, so, and my hat. Where'd my hat go? All right. So anyway, yeah, there was no warning label. I put my head in it. Of course, you can breathe in these. But anyway, so we got this. We got that. And now I guess it's time to go put it out on the car and see if everything's here. So we got the front window shade. We got the reverse one. And this time when I opened it, the suction cups did not shoot everywhere. We got the suction cups in here. Total suckage. And this thing, like I said, again, does not, it doesn't really tell me 
what this is. I would love to see something that tells me. I don't know. I, I assume. I assume it's something you put on your dash that you can set things on like your phone and they won't slide around. That's what makes sense. So, okay, that's sticky. Both sides of it are sticky, so I don't know. I think I'm going to have to leave this here because I don't know what it's for. So, that's unfortunate, but there it is. It's a piece, piece double-sided sticky plastic thing. It's like a football field, shaped like a football field. Okay? So I don't I don't know what to do with that. So I'm gonna leave it here until unless I can figure it out later. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bag away. I'm just gonna leave it in here with the other one that came with parts. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to install this and see see what happens. See if we can screw this up. Alright, so this is my first attempt at installing this four piece car kit in my car and we'll see how it works. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll give it a try anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to explain myself. It wasn't too hard to install this kit. Um, basically, the reason I'm putting the window protector things in the driving doors on this vehicle, the front doors, traveling doors, is because um, right now this vehicle is just going to sit here in storage, and I don't want the sun beating through and destroying everything inside, and so I put them on the biggest, largest windows, uh, which were in the front. I still don't understand what the elastic bands are for. Um, on the wind side window shade things. It didn't really make sense, but I used it to hook in the very front. Uh, you can see on the little wing uh, window there is where I put them. So great for restoring cars and keeping them safe, you know, from the blasting sun. Um, the front of the car was easy to do. I just stuck it in and stuck it behind the sun visors, and that was the end of that. Um, the rear end was probably... Uh, just a little bit more complicated just because the suction cups and I didn't really do anything special to make them stick I didn't put any water on them or anything they just kind of stuck and I could probably go back in there and put some water on them if I want to what I'll probably end up doing 
is uh, putting another uh, front window shade in the back to protect uh, to protect it from the sun, you know, because it's just sitting. But I think that this is definitely a wonderful product uh, for what it is, and I think that in the summertime it's going to protect your car, it's going to protect you and your kids from the sun. You know, I know people, they sit in the car, and the sun shines through the window and it burns their arm. And if you have those side window things in the back, it should help prevent that from happening. And you can still kind of see through these screens here, um, if you're the one that's operating the motor vehicle or car, or whatever you want to call it, uh, transportation. And um, so, anyway, uh, I think I think that you know I can see through it pretty good right now, actually. So I think I think that'll work. Um, you may you know need to trim it to fit or whatever. I guess stretch it, whatever. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Jesus bless you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Reviews. Now, check this out. I've got over 14 packages that I'm supposed to be reviewing. I don't know how I'm going to get them all done today. But look at this. It just The packages, they just keep coming and coming and coming. And I want them to keep coming. So please keep sending your packages. The address is in the description of this video.